Hey guys, it is Monday, August 24th. I've got about 17 or 18 eBay orders to ship out, so let's get to work. First thing I went ahead and pulled from my storage unit, this is a yearbook. Got it about a year ago, I think. It's from 1971. Only paid a dollar or two for it. So for $29.99 plus shipping. I like selling yearbooks because the return is so high. You can get them for real cheap and sell them for like $20, $30. Downside is they take a long time to sell. Uh, it's one of the few items that really, if you lower the price, it's not going to make it sell any faster. You're just waiting for that person to come along that went to the school and you know was looking for the yearbook. So if you can get them cheap, dollar or two dollars, I say pick them up. All right, next thing is up here in D1. This is a Tony Perez bobblehead. I got quite a few of these maybe a month ago or so, just a bunch of different random Reds players. This one right here sold for $13.99 plus shipping, and I've got about $3 into it. Next, we're coming down to C6. This is a Lion King toy. I got part of a bulk buy, so I've only got a couple dollars into it. This sold for $10.99 plus shipping. Next is a lot of books down here in B6. It's those science fiction books that I got at a garage sale maybe a month ago. I did a lot of 10. Let's see here. These 10 right here. I've got a dollar into all 10, and they sold for $14.99 plus shipping. All right, next is over here in F3. It is this autographed baseball. It was part of that big lot of stuff I bought in Tennessee, so I've maybe got a dollar into it. This sold for $9.99 plus shipping. The ball's going out to a viewer named Fred, and he says, John, just wanted to say we appreciate you for your continued support of the reselling community. I have bought from Lonnie, and now you would love a sticker, North Georgia Picker. Fred, thanks for the support. I'll be happy to send a sticker out with that baseball. All right, next is in C4. More autographed stuff. This time it is baseball cards. There are 50 uh, hand-signed cards in here. He sold for $19.99 plus shipping. Those cards are also going out to viewer John about those. He says, hello, John. I'm a viewer of the channel. I enjoy watching all your videos. You have inspired me to get into reselling a bunch of different items, mainly focusing on video games. I have a YouTube channel called John Sports Cards and Collectibles. I appreciate the deal. Hope you and your family stay safe. John, thank you for the business. I'll be sure to check out that channel. All right, next order has two items in it. First is right here in A2. It is more autograph cards. Next is in A3. And it's another autograph baseball. Uh, same buyer bought these two. They sold for $29.98 plus shipping. You already Marty about that stuff. Marty, thank you so much for the support. I really appreciate it. I sold another one at an A2. More autograph cards. These also sold for $19.99 plus shipping. These are going out to viewer named Noah. Noah, thank you for the business. Really hope you like these cards. All right, moving right along. Sold a couple hats at a D2. It is two of the same hat. Easy E trucker hats. Same buyer about both for $15.98 plus shipping. Sold some more pogs. Sold two lots of two. Each lot sold for $11.99 free shipping. Next is a metal detector. This is a Merlin SXL Pro metal detector selling this for my mother-in-law sold for $19.99 plus shipping your name james bought this james thank you so much for the support really appreciate it all right next is in d4 this is a rocky cola Vito hall of fame plaque this is in all that stuff i bought up in cleveland maybe got about a dollar into it this sold for $9.99 plus shipping that plaque's going out to viewer named rob he says hey john i'm a part-time reseller in virginia but cleveland is my home I binged a bunch of your videos earlier this year and decided to get back into reselling and started my own YouTube channel as well called the Chesapeake Picker. I used to own a consignment store and flip on eBay and Craigslist here and there, but I've been going strong here all year. Thanks for all the great content. Rob, it sounds like you're doing awesome, so keep up the great work and thank you for your business. All right, I sold a few pops and dorbs. I know one is up here in C10. Let's see, it is the K-pop Conan number 22 that guy right there that same buyer got a couple out of d8 let's see he got gamora right here these two sold for 11.98 plus shipping and the same buyer got one more it is thor somewhere in here right there that one sold for 5.99 plus shipping all right a couple more things sold out of c10 um this star lord sold for 5.99 plus shipping that star lord is going out to viewer named tony he says hey john just wanted to show some support and say thank you for all your content you've helped my wife and i start our own reselling business and we just became top rated sellers congrats that is awesome i'd love some stickers if you can our ebay store is dupop treasure store thank you so much for the support i'll be happy to throw in some stickers with that all right we're pulling one more thing at a c10 it is an assassin's creed 
figure, this one right here, this sold for $11.99 plus shipping. Let's go on to your name, John. John, thank you for the business. Really hope you like these figures. It's Tuesday morning. I've got a dozen eBay orders to ship out, but first I'm going to answer some viewer questions. All right, first is from Senate Deacon. Uh, if someone purchases multiple items, how do you calculate the shipping? So in my opinion, the easiest way to do it is have them buy everything they're going to buy, and then you can box it all up and get an exact weight and all that stuff. And refund them the difference in shipping. It's pretty easy to do, especially now that um, eBay is taking over managed payments. You don't have to go through PayPal anymore, at least for most people anyways. So what I do is I calculate the price, I buy the label and it gives me, you know, what it is. And then I deduct the amount that they already paid. And then in the eBay page, you just hit for, you know, under the item, you just hit uh, send a refund. Super easy to do. So that's the way I've been doing it. Next is from Dustin. He asks, when you sell golf clubs, do you sell the bag as well? Or do you take it to play it against sports, or what do you do with it? And I've always wanted to know that. So if you guys don't know about played against sports, I actually used to work there for a really long time, and I still take them stuff from time to time, just things that I don't want to mess with or don't want to put on eBay. Um, it really depends on the situation. I'd say like nine times out of ten, the bag that comes with the clubs isn't even worth selling. Like played again won't take it, and there's just not a market for you know junky old golf bags so i usually just donate them yeah most of the time if it's a if it's a decent bag and i know they're going to buy it i'll just take it to them because golf bags aren't very well suited for ebay if it's a high-end bag and it's going to bring some money then i'll go ahead and do it and try to find a box for it and everything like that but most of the time i'm either donating it or taking it to play against sports all right next is from jim he asks what barcode or scanner app do you use at sales um so on my most recent garage sale video i was scanning two different things I think and I use the eBay app so it's it's pretty easy to do you just open it up you want to just click on this little search bar and then right up here you tap on that camera and you can use a barcode or you can do like a photo search photo search doesn't work too well for me but the barcode has worked really well that's just a quick easy way to like search a barcode uh, at a garage show. You, it'll at least give you some indication of whether or not it's worth paying what they're asking. The thing I scanned I think at the sale was a Ninja Turtle Lego set. They wanted $40 for it and I, I was just curious just to see what it was going for and it was like roughly 40 bucks. So you know they priced it right. Alright time to ship some items. First thing is right here. Went ahead and pulled this. I just listed this yesterday, sold within a few hours. I got two pieces of uh, Bose um, stereo equipment at a garage sale last week and I paid $20, so I've got $10 into this one. This is the Acoustic Wave music system. Doesn't have the remote. If it had the remote, it'd be worth a little bit more. But as it was, it sold for $119.99 plus shipping. Next is right here in D4. These are some uh, DVDs. Uh, it was a German print. This is the same guy that did the uh, Girl with the Dragon tattoo. Got these in the garage sale for a dollar. They sold for $19.99 free shipping. Next thing is a Mulan doll. Well, I just sold something else. Uh, okay, I've got a Mulan doll somewhere floating around here. Here it is. This is the Disney Animators Collection. I got this at the garage sale for $5 maybe a month ago. I think I listed it for like 30, 40 bucks, something like that. Somebody sent an offer of $25 plus shipping and I accepted. All right, next is back here at F1. Sold some more spark plugs. Um, somebody bought a total of four, so I had them listed in sets of two and they bought two lots. I'm into these for about $2 and the four sold for $19.98 free shipping. I love finding stuff like this. Um, it might be a long tail, it might take a while to sell, but I love finding small stuff that I can get for cheap that doesn't take up a lot of space, it's easy to ship, and I can do a multi-quantity listing. I mean, I think I've had like 200 or 300 different spark plugs, and it maybe took me like, like six or seven listings. So minimal work and good return. So keep an eye out for any kind of like, you know, small, cheap stuff. Uh, new old stock that you can find that would be a good seller. All right, next thing is a license plate in B1. It is an army license plate. You guys are probably seeing me sell a lot of these the last few weeks, and I sold another one. Got about, I don't know, maybe five cents into it because I got so many of these and a bulk buy. This sold for $8.99, free shipping. The license plate is going up to viewer named Ryan. He says, longtime viewer and infantryman getting out of the army in two months, and this will be great for the wall in my shop. Wilcox resells my channel on YouTube, and you, like many others, have inspired me to start reselling on the side. Love what you do. Your videos are awesome. Mind checking out my channel or giving it a shout out. Thanks for all you do, Ryan. Ryan, I'm happy to give your channel a shout out. Thank you for your service, and thank you so much for your support. Next thing is an A3. 
actually sold two things out of here, I think, so I'll go ahead and pull them both. This is this ALF cake pan. This is part of a bunch of stuff I got from my buddy Josh's house. Not super valuable, but still kind of cool. It sold for $9.99 plus shipping. You guys might recognize this. I sold this, gosh, maybe three weeks ago, a month ago, something like that. I got it at a garage sale for a dollar. It sold for $59.99, and the buyer uh, uh, returned it, and he said he didn't fit him. So I got it back yesterday, sent him the refund, and relisted it, and it sold right away for the same price, $59.99 plus shipping. Um, I said it once back then when it sold, I'll say it again now, keep an eye out for this design. They call this a shark tooth design. I didn't know that that was popular, but I guess they sell for pretty good money. So keep your eyes peeled. Sold some Pogs. This is a set of two for $11.99 free shipping. These are going out to be your name, Daniel. Daniel, thank you so much for the support. I really appreciate it. Okay. I sold a Star Trek Voyager model. Let's see, it's over here. I've got two of them. Not sure which one it is. I've got a ship. Is it the ship? No, I think it's the uh, I think it's the USS Voyager. Yeah, this one right here. Got this at the garage sale on the historic National Road sale last weekend. Um, brand new in the plastic. I paid ten dollars. It sold for thirty nine ninety nine plus shipping. Next is in C three. It is an old program really old one um, from 1939 when the Reds were playing at Crosley Field. Not in really good condition, unfortunately. I think I had it listed for about 30 bucks plus shipping for a while. Somebody sent me an offer of $20 plus shipping and I accepted. All right, next is right next to it in C4. This is a tailor-made driver uh, Rocket Ball RBZ head cover. This sold for $9.99 plus shipping. Okay, last thing is down here at F6. It's some science fiction books, the Hugo winners. Got these at a garage sale, paid 10 cents each, and the three sold for $16.99 plus shipping. That's it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. <laughs>